C. Well, the winter storm halted all sectional play Saturday night across much of northern Indiana. So tonight, area teams in all four classes battled for sectional titles and a chance to play again next week in the regionals. Beginning in Class 4A, Penn facing their rival Mishawak. McCaven fired up to start this one. And in the opening minutes, Haley Van Dusen hits a little runner. The game was tied early on at four. But Mishawaka wouldn't score another point for the rest of the half. Caitlin Moraney would score plenty, though. Knocks down the three to give the Kingsmen the lead. Then Casey Morton going to knock down a three-pointer from the other side of the floor. Pen up 20, 12 to four after one. Then later, Caitlin Moraney hits the jumper on baseline. Penn would go on an unthinkable 28 to nothing run to close the half. And they win big tonight, 66-25 for the Kingsmen. It's their fifth consecutive sectional title. They will face Lake Central next week in the regional. Also in 4A today in the Goshen sectional, Matt Rudkins, Warsaw Tigers battling Goshen, and it's the Skins who enjoy some home cooking early on. Taya Bruce knocks down the three-pointer from the wing, and Goshen takes the early lead. But back comes Warsaw. They give it to Drayton Groniger, who makes a nice spin move inside here for two points, and that ties the game. Then it's Jody Carlson's turn who drives baseline. And Carlson here is going to give the Tigers the lead. Close game throughout, but Warsaw wins at 39-33. They will face Merrillville in the regional. Meanwhile, in Class 3A, South Bend St. Joe has been on a mission all year long. The second-rig tribe entered the postseason with a 20-1 record. Their lone loss coming to 4A power pen. The closest any team in Class 3A had played them all year was 21 points. So it would take a perfect game to knock them off. That's pretty much what Rochester played tonight. St. Joe found itself down eight at halftime, but they open the third quarter strong. Michelle Weaver makes a nice move, cuts down the lane for two. That knocks the deficit to four. But Rochester doesn't blink. Check out the move by Alexa Holland, the tremendous basket in traffic. And then Becky Malkow in transition right down the lane for two more. The Zebras led this one by six points in the final minute. But St. Joe's not done yet. Michelle Weaver, the long three. Makes it a one-possession game. St. Joe still has some life, but they need a little help. And Rochester would hit their free throws down the stretch, and they go on to upset St. Joe tonight, 51-47. The Zebras are sectional champs. We've come so close, but we couldn't get it. And this year, it felt awesome. Like, we had that feeling coming in the game that we were going to do something great. It's, like, the most amazing thing, like, to win a basketball sectional. It's just, like, oh, it's unbelievable. Other results tonight in Class 3A. Tippecanoe Valley beats Whitco 62-36 in the New Prairie Regional. Sectional, I should say, Hanover Central, the winner. Look at that. Westview edges Bremen in double overtime by a point in Class 2A. North Judson also moving on. And in Class A tonight, the defending state champion Oregon Davis Bobcats looking for another sectional crown. The South Central fans invading the Bobcat den to see their team start fast. That's Morgan Wright putting the satellites on the board. But Taylor Cronenberg stole the show tonight. The three-pointer puts Oregon Davis out in front. Then later in the first, Cronenberg connects again from long range. She had three triples in the first quarter, five on the night. That's a pretty good night. Oregon Davis wins 60-42. to The defending champs are moving on.